What is going on guys? This is Ben here. In today's video, we are going to be hoping to get some legendaries from the clan chest. We have two of them this time. Uh, next week, we'll actually have three because we got Carlo back in the clan, but I have my level one account uh, that we're going to be trying to get uh, a legendary from for the first time ever on that one from a clan chest. Uh, and then we have this one, obviously. Uh, so we'll see what we can do, hopefully. And then we also have some gems for some super magicals that we'll be opening up after the matches and maybe some free chests. I think I have another some free chests on my other my level one account as well. So we'll see what we can do, see if I can break 5,000 trophies again. I mean, last season we got to 6,100, so 5,000 really is, isn't that great. And But I still want to be up there in 5,000 with two weeks left in the season because uh, the ultimate goal is ultimate champion, obviously. And then uh, after that, we'll see if we can uh, turn around this grand challenge. I've been struggling trying to find a battle deck that I really, really like uh, in, in today's current meta. So I'm trying to figure that out. But other than that, definitely leave a like if you guys are excited for the video. Uh, let me know how your clan chest was. Did you guys get a legendary? Did you get lucky? You can tweet me at like your if you got a legendary or something like that. I'm curious to know or just comment down below. But if you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe uh, for some more Clash Royale content and do uh, chest openings all the time. And then hit the bell if you want to get notified when my videos go live. Be part of that notification so on. We did get a legendary in the shop again though. I've actually been getting a lot of legendaries in the shop recently. Sadly, they're all the ones that I've maxed out because the only ones that I don't have maxed now are the Bandit, the Night Witch, and that's it. Is that all? I re I've really maxed out all of them except for the Bandit and the Night Witch now? Is that seriously? Yeah, so, okay, they have, I switched to red. Yeah, oh my god, I've, I didn't even realize that, man. Okay, well, actually, no, the Graveyard. I missed the one. So, Graveyard, Bandit, Night Witch. And then I do need to upgrade the Lumberjack, but I'll save that for what I can maybe upgrade this graveyard. So that's pretty crazy. All right, we'll take it. Uh, I guess we'll just open this giant chest as well. See if we can make a legendary. Mm -mm. I literally probably opened that. I, 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 you guys remember my video a few days ago. I'm still kind of mad about that. It took like me opening like probably 50 of those just to get one legendary. So extremely low chance to get uh, a legendary out of the giant chest. Uh, we are going up against the level 12. We have a little bit of a level advantage. I haven't really been pushing too hard in trophies. Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of like taking this. So I've been spending most of my time on my level 1 account. Trying to get a lot of... Uh, trying to grind up to 3,000. And you guys are going to see a video very soon on that one. And it's... it's uh, You'll see my progress at it. And I think it's fairly well. Or pretty good. Uh, it seems as though we're going up against a hog cycle battle deck. Um, from the looks of it, yeah. It's going to be a little interesting for me to deal with. I'm actually just going to poison these archers because I, I don't know, like, I, I kind of have to. I, the, the, he's probably just going to go for a fast cycle uh, with his hog rider. And if I can get away with a baby dragon with my, yeah, he doesn't have a whole lot to counter the graveyard. I don't think he's going to have a whole lot to stop my giant. So if we can get into double elixir, I think we'll be okay. Um, the reason why I kind of like, I used to have the night witch in this battle. Like, I actually kind of like the baby dragon more because it deals with splash stuff. Um, also... I get the added benefit that I can... Well, you could Graveyard with the Night Witch as well. But you get the benefit that it's a lot easier to... Oh, it took out my Electro Wizard there. That kind of... That's a bummer. Um, but you get the added benefit. Like, the Baby Dragon is actually a better card to Graveyard on, I think. Because, you like, a lot of people drop, like, their Goblin Gang or something to counter the Graveyard. Well, you can't really do that with the Baby Dragon because it'll take it out right away. So, we'll start our Giant Push. Um... He might have a cannon. He's going to start a hog rider over here. So we'll just throw the goblin gang in the back. Hopefully the ice spirit doesn't hit him. Well, it actually did. So we have one spear goblin there. Um, I don't know. We know this guy's the fireball. Uh, we'll see if we can just take the tower with just our giant and poison now because he dropped the archers. I think the poison might be a little overkill. So we'll just let it go. Uh, come on, one more hit giant. Oh, I didn't even get it. Uh, do I need to? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I'm glad I didn't poison there. Otherwise, I would have lost four elixir. So that was pretty. That was pretty nice. Um, makes it a lot easier me for me to do like a. Okay, he's gonna zap. He's he's wasting a lot of elixir on that push to take my tower. So we're gonna go in here. The giant graveyard. This is the standard push that you guys have seen from me. And now we have our poison going. He's gonna take care of the archers. Now we'll start to get some damage in there because that giant is still tanking a lot. Ah, there we did. I wish I would have got a... I, honestly, I thought I was going to take his tower there. <laughs> Let's be real here. <laughs> so that one's a little bit disappointing for me. But... It is what it is. Uh, this stupid Ice Spear, man, is like the tricky card for me to deal with. But once I save up to 10 Elixir again, we will do this giant... Great, we might as well just do it now. We got the Baby Dragon bearing down. 
Um, yes, now the towers are gonna hit my, like, the graveyard instead, but I kinda wanna try and get my giant there. He actually, uh, he misplayed his tornado there. He, if he would have dropped it kind of where my Mega Minion now is, my Giant would have actually gone for that instead. So, either, either way, put him with that GG, man. Hog Cycles are actually always tricky to deal with because if you mess up or you overcommit too much to one side of the tower, they'll usually just, like, drop the Hog Rider on the other tower and you're done for. Because I'm not playing any defensive buildings. So, always kind of, like, scared to see the Hog Cycle go off. Uh, so now we'll open up my level 13 clan chest here. Oh, I saw, them, I saw something funny here. It was like, uh, right here is the message. It says, loser removes king from their name. Because <laughs> it was like King Connor versus King Snarkly. And I was like, oh my god. I, was, I got a good kick out of that. So I'm wondering who's winning this. If Connor wins, Snarkly will just be Snarkly from now on. <laughs> so we got some interesting clans going down. Who won it? It was one to one. Oh, I guess it is tied now. Did they do the best of three? So it looks like King Starkly gets to keep his match, and uh, King Connor is gonna have to change it. We'll see what we'll see what happens. <laughs> I was about to, but I don't have a name change. Oh, whoa, come on, Connor! Don't pull us. Don't do like. Don't make King Starkly th offer a. Tr well, maybe we don't know. Maybe he didn't have a name change up either. But still, I was gonna kick out of that. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, guys! Well, this is awesome. I've gotten very, very lucky on the clam chest recently. We are going to get that clam chest legendary. Will be the graveyard, the one that I need, or a bandit. It is the graveyard, so we are going to get that maxed out very, 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 very soon. And it's from the clan chest, dude. That's awesome. I'm really stoked for that because I know a lot of people don't really get good clan chest legendary. But can we get a like for that? Get some hype. Oh my god, I know I've been I've been on a crazy streak right now, like my clan battle chest before, I got like two in a row, clan chest I got like two in a row, and then I had a week where I didn't get any, but then I'm back at it now, dude, that's sweet. So definitely let me know if you guys got are getting as lucky as I am with these clan chests, because so I'm getting a ton of them. It's, uh, it's really, really nice. So, we'll have them do another match, and then I'll open up some super magicals, and then head over to that level one. Uh, it is Father's Day, by the way, guys, I should have mentioned that at the start, kind of forgot, so... Definitely, if you've had an influential, inf influential, influential father figure in your life, give him some praise. Um, at least, even just like says maybe like a simple call or anything. Like if you can't actually physically see them, uh, whether it be your actual father or just some father figure in your life, just let them know. Thank you for allowing me to be the man or woman that I am today. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Um, so we are taking this right hand side tower. This guy's level 11. I feel kind of bad, but it's another one of those hog cycles. And yes, I'll arrow those minions because otherwise my mega minion would have went for those instead of the hog rider and it wouldn't have tied as quick. So, gotta be on top of it. Uh, hopefully this guy doesn't have an inferno tower. That's, that's the card I do not want to face. He does have the princess. I mean, I have the arrows for her, but what is poison speller? I don't really want to waste my Goblin Gang on it, and I plus I get tower damage in there, I guess. I guess. It's a, it's questionable, but typically I save the arrows. Well, I don't have them on rotation. If I would have them on rotation, I would have used them and then save the uh, the poison for maybe he has a minion horde in there or something, but it doesn't really seem like it. It just seems as though he has like this uh, the regular minions and goblins, but still sort of kind of like a bait style battle deck. I don't know. My baby dragon should do a good job cleaning that up. Yes, we did take a little bit of damage, but that's all right. Uh, always got the mini Pekka, so that's a that's a pretty good counter to my to my giant, I'd say. Yes, it is level ten, but so it's one level weaker. It's still very very strong for a mini Pekka, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in to get some tower. Oh, Mega Minion, nice. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in to get a lot of tower damage until double elixir. So we'll see how this works. He's not dropping anything right now, though. Princess. Okay, I'll arrow the princess. Throw it on the goblin gang. Ooh, he's got the hog freeze. He hasn't been freezing the hog, but... Okay. Uh, we'll opt to switch tower damage over here with the poison, because this could get very interesting if I make a little misplay. So, we're going to have to defend a hog rider. Uh, I guess I'll arrow this. Oh, nice. We got a value arrow there. He dropped some goblins. Ooh, 
the hog with one th that's like I'm just gonna leave it I'm gonna take a lot of damage but I'll leave it I'll give you that man oh my god so we'll start our graveyard we got like 10 seconds left he really really went for it I'll throw it on the poison I think we got this I didn't realize how much time was left guys if I didn't if I knew there was like 20 to 15 seconds left I probably would have tried to counter the hog on the freeze because that could have actually been deadly but I'm not using my headset not for game sound <laughs> So I didn't know there was only 10 seconds, 15 seconds left at that time, but uh, good game. Level 11, dude. That, that battle, that can definitely be pretty nasty. But there we go. Not too difficult to get back in the 5,000. Obviously, you can see we're going up against people lower level than us, but that's because like we're still fairly low, I think, for this time in the season. Uh, other than that, we'll upgrade these, see, or I'll unlock them. And then I'll unlock this other silver chest. You guys are gonna see my trophy count from my level one now, though. Well, at least it'll get you hyped. I was kind—I of, was kind of trying to save it for. What do we get? Bandit, bandit, bandit. Ah, uh, another graveyard. At least we get like the extra card, legendary, showing one out of one instead of zero out of one now. Um. <laughs> whatever. We'll open up another one. See if we can make it legendary again. All right. All right. All right. All right. Give it to me. Give me that bandit. You know, the bandit's actually really good, guys. I you know I know I said this. I'm taking back my words here. I know I said the bandit was gonna even with its buff, it was not gonna be good. But I think there's like a bug with it where it only charges every three tiles instead of four, and that actually makes it pretty deadly and it charges pretty fast. So it's very good at a sneak attack now. Uh so I'm surprised that it's made this much of an impact. But I think the bandit's a good card. Uh I definitely am loving the buff on my level one account. It's helping out a lot, so we'll see what we get though. Bandit or Night Witch? So we get gold, okay. <laughs> 20K gold there, all right. Uh, so we don't have enough for any more super magicals. I was gonna play this out. I was like messing around with a few battle decks, so that's why I got some losses here. Ah, uh, well, hopefully we can get this victory and then I'll head on to that level one and open up my last clan battle test. But yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna spoil what trophy count that I'm at, unless you guys have been checking my stats royale or whatever. Ah, uh, we're going up against the Night Witch. Alright, we'll throw it on the Giant over here. I don't really have a whole lot to drop. Baby Dragon's a really good counter to the Night Witch, though. So, we'll see. Oh my gosh, another mini pack. Oh my goodness, man. This Balak is, uh, an interesting one. I don't really have anything to stop the... Oh my gosh. At least I got it. At least he turned around and didn't go to my tower. But I don't have anything to stop the mini pack yet. Dang, dude, that mini pack is gonna get a hit. At least he missed the baby dragon with that fireball. Okay, I guess it's fairly even. I'm, I'm, I'm really like, it was really close that that giant skeleton went for my tower, but the electro wizard just like zapped him. Was like, nah, you're gonna go with, you're gonna go this way, man. Uh, we'll see. Oof. I guess we'll try and arrow those bats as well. Nice. So, took a little bit of damage. That's okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll throw it on the giant. I don't know. Does this guy, like, have a tank in his battle? Oh, yeah, he's got that giant skeleton. I completely forgot. Well, that's not really going to stop my giant too much, and he's actually pushing the other... Uh, so we're going to take his tower over here. I'm pretty confident. Yes, he's probably going to throw on the baby dragon. I mean, the, the uh, mini P.E.K.K.A., but I think we'll be able to counter it with the Electro Wizard and the baby dragon. Oh... That skeleton army though, man. Oh no. I thought we were gonna take his tower a lot better. And it's looking like the baby dragon might get some damage and that lone skeleton. So we, the, the, how I thought we were gonna take that tower was a graveyard. Yes, we didn't fully take it right now, but uh, what do I wanna do? I guess we'll throw it on the giant skeleton. I don't have the tornado for the repositions. He's gonna, okay. I think he, I think he meant to throw on the goblin barrel there to be. Oh, this as electro wizard wasn't even needed. Yeah, honestly, I think he was meant to throw that goblin barrel there. So it's probably a gift for us. But we'll see. We're gonna have to do this. Poison it. Like I, I was gonna graveyard there. Will it be in the? Uh, yes, it will. So we're in, it's an arrow range now. I'm gonna have to take it with the arrows. Oh, no, 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 this is gonna be bad. Okay, the baby dragon came in clutch there, took that minion horde. 
We have 10 seconds left. We got some regular spear goblins going for it. We're getting a little bit of damage done in there. All right, I like that push. He's throwing a mega minion over here. He doesn't have the main card that I'm worried to, like to deal with. Oh gosh. I guess we'll poison these. Um, so we're gonna have to take care of this. Yes, I took a little bit of tower damage, but now I can go for a graveyard push on his tower. I, I could probably do that a better way. I just realized that, but oh no, it's gonna be a race against the clock here. Come on, stop it! The giant skeleton. I think we got this. Come on, let's go. That one was close. <laughs> good game, good game. All right, so up to three and two. So now I'm gonna head on my level one, uh, and then I'll come back to this. So we'll open up that chest. Actually, no, we'll do one more battle, and then we'll open up the level one clan battle chest. See if we can get that legendary. Oh, that was that was intense match though. Last, I was not. I, I was a little scared there at the begin, like like at the start. Oh no. Uh, typically, if they drop the elixir collector, I like to be really aggressive, but I don't have a giant graveyard in my opening hand. So, I guess we'll just throw on a giant up front. He might throw on a golem. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking this is probably going to be a golem battle deck. It's looking like quite plausible, and I didn't even really take his tower that much. Okay, yeah, we did actually. I lied. Yeah, we took we took it fairly decent. Almost destroyed it, but I don't think that's really good enough for an opening push. If you're if I'm that aggressive out and I'm going up against either you're you're forcing me, man. We're going for it. This is like a very if he has the log, I'm gonna cry, which he probably does. Okay, he's got zaps. So that's okay because no my my regular goblins will take it and will take his elixir collector. So, well. Change of plans, he dropped the Electro Wizard. Can't really count on that, but... Uh, ooh, I was guessing... I guessed wrong. I was going to guess 100% Golem Battle Deck, but this is a, a giant Battle Deck. Okay. The poison was literally just to cycle and hopefully take care of the Electro Wizard. <laughs> Probably... Uh, this is going to be rough, guys. Because it's... It's uh, giant versus giant, and he's going to have a big drop. Because he's got Elixir Collectors. All right, so we're going for a push here. We got skeletons. Um, Electro Wizard. I think that that was a bad call, Ben. You're going in, and you shouldn't have. Now we're probably gonna get a giant thrown down in front of us. Yep. Mmm. What do I want to do? All right. Well, at least we had the. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? This is going to be very, very kind of like risky, but we're going to try and keep our Electro Wizard alive. Oh, well, well that didn't really work. <laughs> I was going to push on a weakened Electro Wizard and try and take that tower, but it just wasn't happening. So he ended up zapping our tower. 30 seconds left. So this comes, uh, this comes clutch time here. He's got double collectors, so he's gonna have an insane push coming. Triple collectors, never mind, his push is going to be weakened now. Uh, he does not have the zap, but he does have an Electro Wizard. So we're just gonna see if we can burn down this giant super fast while ours is still alive. Okay, and then we're gonna, oh, I think we got this. I think he made a huge mistake. He should not have actually pumped up there, but I think he might get away with it because he has just so much advantage with the, ugh. Oh. Oh, come on. I for sure thought we could have won on that push there. Okay. Come on, man. Oof. Oof. We have, to, we have the graveyard. Go, 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 go. Come on. He just needs to cycle through his fireball. Oh, dang it. We almost capitalized on him taking the risky play pumping up for three pumps when he had that giant incoming. I think if he would have actually pushed with it, we would have lost, but that was a close match. It's very hard to, when you're playing like kind of like a similar mirror battle deck, it's hard to win when uh, they have pumps and the other person doesn't. Kind of like if you went up, say you have a golem 
where you don't have a pump and you go up against a golem that does have a pump it's a little tricky to deal with uh it's still you still can win it's just kind of hard but now we'll head over to that level one account guys so here is the reveal my level one account is at a new trophy high i was gonna save this for uh my video tomorrow but i'm showing you guys now to open up the clan chest here we are at 2916 can i get a Good job, Ben. You got there. Now you only need uh, 84 more trophies until you get to your your goal, but it's it's a long shot to get up there. So, but yeah, I'm really happy. I'm saving to push more on this account, um, like you guys just said in my or like I just said in my other video. We do have this offer, but it's only for a magical chest and some gems. But eh. I mean, I w if I bought it, I would get a lot of gold and and a magical chest it's a good value but not for our, my type of what i usually spend it for so we'll, we'll pass and with my luck with the magical chest it's not very good so see if we can make it to legendary center pro mm -mm. that's all right that was my first ever clan chest with this level one because clans were just introduced last update so hey there's the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, got a lot of victories a decent chest we got well, we'll say good we'll say good chest because we got legendaries that we needed and then we can actually max those max those out soon so with that i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure that we did and don't subscribe for more clash royale videos and i'll see you guys later